Just last week, Attorney General Andrea Campbell made her decision on whether Auditor Diana DiZoglio had the power to audit the legislature. 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming has an update on DiZoglio's path forward. Attorney General Campbell announced that she believes that the auditor does not have the power to audit the legislature. However, that is not stopping DiZoglio. Auditor Diana DiZoglio served in both the House and the Senate, where she publicly clashed with leadership over things like transparency. In March, she announced her plans to audit the legislature. She was immediately hit with resistance from both Senate President Karen Spilka and House Speaker Ron Mariano. And in July, she wrote to Attorney General Campbell for her support, which she did not receive. DiZoglio stated that the AG's opinion was simply just that, her opinion, and she plans to challenge it. She is continuing in her push to audit the legislature, even if top leaders don't agree to cooperate. We will be making it crystal clear what information we requested from legislative leaders uh, and what information they denied the, to the general public uh, through that audit. Uh, but we will continue on uh, conducting the same audit that we've been conducting and making the same requests for documents, uh, again, to make sure that the general public is no longer left in the dark about uh, what is happening up on Beacon Hill behind these closed doors. Desaglio is also putting much of her efforts behind her ballot question, which she filed in her capacity as a private citizen. The ballot question would change state law to make it explicit that the auditor can in fact audit the legislature. Desaglio said they are within striking distance with the campaign gathering more than 50,000 signatures already. Now, ballot question supporters must gather over 70,000 signatures by November 22nd in order to make it to the next step in the ballot process. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.